Hey Soulfest TV, I'm Jesse Russell and we're here in uh, the lovely Nashville, Tennessee uh, Jars of Clay Studio and we're gonna hopefully talk to them about their new album and maybe maybe find out a little information What's going on with Jars of Clay then? Can you tell us a little about yeah. coming out with new material soon? We, uh, we're, we just started the process of making a record. Um, that will take us really the full year, I think. Yeah. Um, we're, we're planning on doing a lot of songwriting and getting ourselves in a really good place um, before we put anything out. So it won't be out probably till uh, 2013. Okay. Um, but we're going to tour a little bit this year, kind of laying low giving people a chance to cleanse the palate jars is going to been yeah. uh, really pretty active for a few years now and I think we're ready to just kind of go underground for a little while. Do you, do you have an, uh, a direction you think you're going to be going atmospherically with the, with the It's the hard to know. Hard to know. I mean we've mm. we've so far in a lot of our writing we're using a lot of programming yeah um, uh, but then you know coupling that with a lot of acoustics and um, String samples, so I don't know. It's it's hard to tell, but just whatever. Yeah, whatever yeah. I think comes. that's the thing about Jars is we're we're more of a songwriting band, yeah. Um, which allows us to kind of spread out um, texturally, yeah, uh, and, and use all different kinds of instruments and things. We don't really have to stick to a certain um, kind of formula. That's great. Um, yeah. So it's right now it's pretty much over the all over the map. Well, I'm yeah. excited to hear it when it comes out. It's, the big question I want to ask is. Uh, Plum. I've been hearing a lot about you're getting that back back yeah. up and running again. Yeah, it's it was pretty exciting. I, I got a call from uh, from her um, a little while back, and she just asked if I would come and help uh, work on a lyric for a song with her, and um, which is great. I mean, she's she's been actively writing a lot of music and um, kind of trying to prepare for a record. I, and I've always been a fan, um, really, since uh, since their first record and getting to uh, work on that with her. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, but so now we have a song though that came out called Drifting, um, and it's funny, but they did a remix, and I think now it's uh, as we are sitting here is is somewhere within the top five on the club charts. Oh, really? Which is really cool because yeah. uh, it's not really an environment that I get to frequent too often, yeah. uh, especially musically. But uh, it's something that I'm a fan of, of yeah. uh, that, the genre. So um, yeah, it's a pretty big deal. Right. So and I, I heard she's gonna be up at Soul Fest this year too. So, yeah, she is. Um, that'll be exciting. She's still an amazing voice. Uh, I think we'll put on a really good show. Do you, so you're, you're, are you playing with her? I don't know. If I get up in time, then I'll, I'm yeah. sure I'll, I'll step up on stage and um, sing a song with her. That'd be yeah. awesome. Do you, do you play around here with her at all, or do you? Not really. Just the, no, just we do a lot song. of writing together. Uh, we we tend to move into the same circles. Uh, yeah. Um, there's a producer named Matt Brown the way who actually was a, a member of Jars of Clay okay. early on, but he does a lot of work with her and does a lot of writing with her, and so occasionally they'll rope me in. But uh, we've not actually um, performed uh, yeah. together. Yeah. You just kind of the same quite writing years. loop. Yeah. That's awesome. I know you guys are probably just as excited as I am to see Jars and Plum this year at Soul Fest. Um, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you should go to uh, our website, www.thesoulfest.com, and buy them today, tonight, right now, right after you're done watching it, this episode. Do it.